What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. <clears throat> Today I'm taking out the ninja by popular request and uh, this video I'm gonna go through five essential tips for driving in the Philippines because a lot of uh, a lot of people come here and it is a great destination to drive it's a fantastic place to ride a motorbike a scooter whatever it is you want to ride um, and see some beautiful sights but a lot of uh, a lot of people come here they've never ridden a bike or a scooter before and they hop on a scooter and the roads here are awesome but they're very different from roads in the West, in Australia, America, Canada, New Zealand, UK, etc. So I'm going to go through the five essential tips uh, that I've found riding here over the last five years that you need to know. Um, first up though, I want to take the time to thank each and every one of you for subscribing and supporting the channel because uh, I hit a milestone today. We're up above 1,000 subscribers and that was in the space of about five weeks. So it's been incredible. Uh, I didn't think we'd get there that fast. So again, thanks each and every one of you guys. Um, I really love the support and the biking community here. And I'm gonna try and give back as much as I can through this channel. Uh, also today, I'm gonna do a couple of shout outs. First shout out is gonna go to Kim Razor, my boy from Barilli. So a Barilli brother there. So big shout out to you, Kims. Uh, and I'm also gonna do a shout out for Mark Regis, uh, good chatting to you on Facebook, Mark. Uh, you and your guapo little boy, Joshin. Big shout out to you, Joshin. I'm gonna ride this ninja today for you, Joshin. So you're a cool little dude. One day you'll have your own ninja, I know you will. I'm gonna give you five tips. But at the end, if you stay till the end, I'm gonna give you a sixth bonus tip. Okay, so tip number one, when you're riding here in the Philippines, be very, very aware of dogs on either side of the road. There are thousands of dogs here in the Philippines. Loose, you know, just street dogs. And at any time they could be running out from the side of the road, maybe they get in a fight with another dog, maybe someone here throws a stone at them to get them away from the house, and the dog can shoot out from the left, from the right, and it can be literally, boom, gone. I've had a cat jump out on me, bounced off the front wheel of my XR 150. Luckily, I was going slowly. And the, the key here is, is you're scanning the road all the time in front. So as I'm riding now, I'm seeing him, that he's gonna come out. You're trying to be aware of the hazards, but in particular, dogs, children, old ladies who cross the road and perhaps are not paying 100% attention, make sure you're the one who's paying attention. Tip number two, and this sort of follows on from tip number one, is that here, unlike in the UK, the horn is not really used as an aggressive thing to have a go at someone. The horn here is used to make people aware of your presence. And why I say it follows on from tip number one is because if you see a dog a little bit up the road, beep your horn at it. Because most of the dogs here, they might not pick up the sound of the bike, they might not see you. But when they hear the sound of that horn, they generally scoot over to the side of the road and get off the road because they know traffic is coming. They, they're pretty used to that sound. So using your horn liberally here is a very, very good idea. So the situations where you can use it is wherever you want to make or whenever you want to make someone aware of your presence. So dogs, for instance. Yep, I'm going to beep. I'm going to let the dogs know that I'm coming. Hopefully that will make them react and move out of my way. Children, people on the road. Even if they don't look like they're going to cross the road and get in front of you, just give a little friendly peep. And I'm not talking about, you know, hammering on the horn in an aggressive manner. It's a beep peep or whatever you think will get their attention. And it just lets people know if they're walking along the side of the road just to move in, get out of the way. Again, when you're going to overtake a car uh, or a lorry or bus, a trike, a pedicab, anything like that, just as you're about to maneuver around and overtake, just give them a little peep. It just makes them aware. Oh, right, there's a bike coming here. And it means that the chances of them pulling out into you are much less likely. Use that horn, baby. Tip number three, a good example whilst I'm here. Ride back from buses, large vehicles, lorries, trucks, jeepneys, things like that. If you don't want to get a mouthful of black smoke that comes out of these things, just give them a little bit of distance because the first time you go behind one, and you're not expecting it, 
you're going to get a plume of black smoke come out when they accelerate or when they change gear because a lot of these vehicles are very very old and they just keep them in service basically financially you know some of the companies probably can't afford to upgrade to the latest greatest um, vehicle you know they don't have the same emissions control here as they would in certainly in Europe so be aware there's a lot of dirty fumes coming out the back of these buses they also some of them are very good drivers but some of them drive very quickly and, and a little bit abruptly so give these buses look at them all here give them plenty of room look there's the black smoke coming out of that one okay perfect example so back off from these and only overtake one when you can see that you've got a really good clear stretch because these guys will go along at 60 to 80 kilometers an hour if you rent a scooter here you're probably going to struggle to overtake unless you've got a big you know a big gap in front of you um, so just back off you know we're not in a rush you're on holiday right probably um, and if you are in a rush because you're working here I'm sure you already know most of these tips so if I uh, if I miss out any tips here that you think are essential for people coming to the Philippines on holiday you know for foreigners then please comment in the uh, section the comment section down below so tip number four I think we're on number four right guys my god it's hard to concentrate and ride at the same time but tip number four be aware that in the Philippines in a lot of places there are no sort of hard and fast traffic rules uh, in the UK undertaking so if someone's gonna basically go faster than me on the inside in the UK that's illegal I'm not sure of the situation in America perhaps some of my American friends can comment below um, but here you have to be aware of traffic overtaking you on both sides okay so you might be driving along in the middle of the lane and in the UK I'm used to just checking my mirror on one side we're only going to overtake on one side it happens to be on the right in the UK that everyone would overtake to undertake me is illegal in the Philippines as far as I'm aware correct me if I'm wrong um, guys but it's not illegal to undertake so you have to be aware on both sides of your position in the road and the fact that someone could come up the inside of you or the outside of you so just be very aware that the rules are not quite the same here it's a little bit um, less strict it's a little bit more of a free-for-all in fact it can be overwhelming when you first come here if you've never ridden a bike before go out to the province somewhere quiet and just practice a little bit particularly somewhere like um, where I used to live in Dumaguete that really is a free-for-all you're not going to find any traffic lights any roundabouts uh, at certain times of the day in rush hour yeah you will find traffic enforcers directing the traffic but the rest of the time when you hit a crossroads it's pretty much a free-for-all and through the city traffic it's a free-for-all people will be going round cars they'll be cutting up the inside of cars if there's heavy traffic you'll even see them jump up onto the curb um, and they will hop up on the curb to go around people will be walking in and out of traffic just to try and get across the road they'll just jump out in front of you and put their hand out in front of you just to sort of say stop I'm gonna walk across tip number five initially I would say I would not advise riding at night here unless you're an experienced rider there are no lights on the road and it really does strain my eyes anyway to have to concentrate so much on possible hazards plus where is the road plus is the road surface okay etc etc most of the scooters that you will rent out here will have pretty poor quality headlights and that's not a criticism of the scooters here that's just in general they have a smaller battery so scooters would have a, a generally have a, a lowered powered headlight um, so you're not going to have great visibility if you do insist on riding at night or if you're just late throughout the day and it takes you longer to get to your destination than you thought and you end up having to ride at night be aware particularly in the province that some people some people will ride their bikes without any headlights on so do not make the assumption that because you don't see headlights coming out of a adjoining road or you don't see oncoming headlights don't make the assumption that there's no traffic there you will come across people regularly riding their bike at night for whatever reason without headlights on so yeah be aware guys that if you come here and you are gonna ride at night just because there's no headlights on doesn't mean there isn't a vehicle there so just be aware of it uh, that is key but I would personally advise not driving here at night unless you're very experienced 
I will do it, but I wouldn't go on a long journey, particularly at night. To anyone who's thinking of coming and riding here in the Philippines, don't take these tips as anything negative. Um, they are just purely to adapt, to help you adapt to different conditions in this country. The roads here, not, not the roads I'm on now, but a lot of the roads here are great. Um, the people are incredibly friendly. There are so many beautiful destinations to go to. I would highly, highly recommend the Philippines as a riding destination for guys who like bikes. I give a shout out to the One Nation Riders Club of Bataan and Tarlik chapter. That's Mark's club. Um, so big shout out to you guys. Thanks for the support. And we'll move on now to my final tip, which is tip number six. Tip number six, so I said, yeah, it's the five essential tips before you ride in the Philippines. I'm gonna give you a bonus tip, and that is tip number six, which is, when you see oncoming traffic, maybe this truck, maybe particularly I've seen four by four pickup trucks, Ford Ranger style trucks, be very, very aware. Look, dog, I give him a beep, see him change his course. Be very aware of pickup truck drivers. Here, there, there can be a slight sense of, I'm in a pickup truck, I own the road, um, and so they will overtake other traffic and they will be coming towards you and they will not move back in for you necessarily, so be very, very aware of oncoming pickup truck drivers. Okay, so that's all the tips, six essential tips now, well, five essential tips and you get one free, so let's go have a bit of fun. Don't forget, guys, if you found these tips useful, then give this video a huge thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, hit the notifications bell, because then you're going to be notified of any upcoming videos I uh, send out. By the way guys, what do you think? I changed the levers on my Ninja, so now I've got adjustable levers, they're adjustable here, five settings, and they'll flip up as well.